Lee, what a second that was right at the end. Yeah, it's um, it's a tough one to take, but we're at that stage of the season now where you can't really dwell on things. You have to get rid of it and get ready for Saturday. And you, in the, within the squad, you've got great mentality, haven't you? So you know you have you do get over these kind of things really well, don't you? And you do push on for the next game. No, exactly. You have to. Again, at this stage of the season, there's no point. Obviously, it's a tough one to take. It'll sting tonight, tomorrow, maybe even the next day. But come Saturday, it will be. We have to be ready to go again. Do you think you did much much wrong in the game, really? No, I thought. I wouldn't say comfortable, but I don't think we ever felt in that much danger. So that just. I think that makes it feel even just that little bit worse. And were you surprised to see the six minutes go up on the board as well? I think we all were, yeah. I think we all were, but you can't, you can't use that as an, as an excuse. We should have done better from it's a throw and we shouldn't concede from there, but it is what it is. It was getting a bit bitty at the end, wasn't it? The players have been, the challenges going up. Do you think that kind of you know, stopped the concentration a little bit or not? No, I don't think so. Look, it's a game. Both of us wanted to win. Tensions were high. It's it's the business end of the season, but we were caught caught out with the last kick of the game, and that that can't happen. It can't happen again. You did enough to score more than one goal as well, didn't you? You had some good chances. Yeah, exactly. That's probably the only thing we'll look back on. Maybe could have put the game to bed, but again, from the position we we're in, I think we should have we should have seen it out, and that's that's the most disappointing thing. And Josh did score in the first half. He could have had that. He had that chance, but he showed, you know, a, quite a good res resilience to a score in the second half. That's it. Yeah, exactly. It was pretty much, pretty much the exact same chance, just um, opposite side. So he's done. He's done brilliant to put that over his head and, and finish it off. I thought you and Lewis Warrington played really well in midfield. Do you, do you like that combination with him, with Jay not being there? Yeah, obviously we're missing Jay. If you're going to miss Jay, he's a massive, massive uh, piece for us, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch experience wise but I think since Lewis has come in we're still we're still learning each other's games. It's not been that long but I think we're we're um, starting to understand each other. His passing range looks really good doesn't it? Yeah it does. It does. It looks you'd expect that from from um, such a highly taught prospect at Everton but he's um he's gone he's gone seamlessly into into League Two and that's a that's a good sign of a good player. And you've got two difficult away games coming up, but you know you shouldn't have to fear them. Should you? You're in second place after all. Exactly. That's. I think it's not been the best couple of weeks, but we're still in second place. We're still in second place, so everyone, we don't fear anyone. Everyone has to fear us. We're second, so we go there. Three points is all we want. And do you, do you, do your confidence still high as well, even though that has happened today. You're probably still feeling a bit, aren't you, from that last minute? Yeah. I mean, not right now, but again, as I said, probably tonight, tomorrow, we'll, everyone will be a bit down. But once we come back in. That's that's put to bed and it's on to Saturday. And do you think you, a, a week without having played football midweek? Do you think that'll help you as well? Possibly, yeah. I think we we have had a lot of games recently, so it'll be good to people have a few niggles and whatnot. Get get 100% for Saturday, so I think it is a good thing, yeah. Okay, cheers, Lee. Thank you. It's probably a bit too soon to reflect on the game, but it, without that moment in isolation, the game was it was a good game and a confident performance from everybody. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, Obviously, we've had two disappointing results the last two games, so we knew coming back here with the crowd and everything, we had to we had to perform. We needed to rectify the the last two games, and I thought for whatever it was, 94 minutes, we done that. But you can't do it for 94 minutes. You have to do it for whatever it was, the 96 minutes. So it's disappointing. And then next week, now is it a case of sort of putting this to the back of your mind or using it as motivation going forward? I think everyone 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 did their own. Um, whatever you need to do, it's definitely not going to go out of my mind, but other people might want to put it to the back of their mind, so whatever works. And then how important are the next two games to the club? They're massive, I think, I don't, I'm not sure, is there 13 games left? They're all they're all massive, it's not just these next two, every single one is massive, so we just go into every single game, it's uh, Newport next and that, that's it, we're not thinking about anything else.